day plus one of our Messiah 2024 excursion. I didn't get to sleep until a little after 2 a.m. It's now a little past 7.30 in the morning. And we begin our return journey, Eastern Pennsylvania to North Texas. And over the course of the next two days, we will be having a post-mortem reflection on our Messiah 2024 experiences. We're making a stop here in Western Pennsylvania, soon to cross into West Virginia. We've just had our first round of post-mortem on the Messiah 2024 conference, sorting through the historical development of modern Messianic Judaism, certainly here in North America, sorting through the vantage points of visionaries, theologians, and me being a pragmatist, uh, just trying to recognize that when we're around a lot of these people, there are things we have to maneuver around. Yes, we love the Lord. Yes, we're all part of the Messianic mission, but there are a diverse number of personalities. And that means you have to uh, be aware of that in the assignment which God has for you. And I'm sure a number of other things will come to light as we continue this journey home. We just listened to a Joel Chernoff message from the conference where he recounted a dream he apparently received about the future salvation of the Jewish people. This will provide some content for significant discussion and reflection, for sure. We are continuing our journey home we are presently in the state of Ohio. We're going back the same way we came. I am reflecting on the Joel Chernoff dream teaching. Basically, he saw many uh, Jewish people, corporate, uh, come to a recognition that Yeshua was the Messiah and they knew that the Messianic Jewish community was there as their delegate, their representative. And, okay, that's something we all pray for and we all hope for. But one of the things which was very important from it, which I took away, was they were all relatively normal Jewish people from the Reform and Conservative communities. They weren't from the Orthodox community. And so one of the things which... I know many Messianic congregations can be focused on is, well, how do we reach the Orthodox? Because they believe in the scriptures. Hmm. Well, the significant majority of the Jewish community in North America is reform, conservative. And then what comes after you have a huge number of Jewish people come to faith in Yeshua? So uh, it was a good teaching and good message. Certainly begs I think more questions than answers them. We have just finished eating at Dixie Chili here in Erlanger, Kentucky. And this is part of the digest for day plus one. There should be a food review already posted on Dixie Chili. Just come from visiting some family friends who we haven't seen in over 30 years since we moved away the first time. And now, we're going to Kroger to pick up some local food items, which we cannot easily get in North Texas. And we are now departing the greater Cincinnati area on the final leg of our trip for day plus one. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we're checking out a new Bucky's. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, there is Bucky. Texas institution now being exported. All right, so this is uh, just an absolute madhouse in here because this Bucky's is in Kentucky and not in its homeland of Texas. I'm just, this is just a token uh, acknowledgement that we stopped here. Bucky's is on my list for a food review. I live very close to a Bucky's. We'll do one when we return.